It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 2332, and I'm Dr. Neil Molly. Hey there, happy Friday, and welcome to another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I answer your health questions related to fitness, diet and nutrition, and more. You send in the questions, and I answer them for you. Oh, and if you do send in a question, we'll physically mail you a copy of our hardcover workbook as long as you're in the US, and we have some left, but if you're outside of the US, we'll email you a digital version. Now, I'll tell you how to send in a question at the end of the show. But for now, let's hear today's question as we optimize your life. Today's question came via email. Yuve writes, Dear Dr. Neil, what is the best diet for postmenopausal women? I hear conflicting advice from well-intentioned women health advocates. For example, some promote a plant-based diet while others say, Postmenopausal women need more protein, especially meat, to help with hormone balance. Thanks. Thank you so much for taking the time to send in your question, Uve. Now, for a long time, the nutrition recommendations for those that are postmenopausal were pretty straightforward. In fact, the recommendations were basically to eat more foods with calcium, or if this isn't possible, take a calcium and vitamin D supplement. That was basically it. But now, more research has been performed among those experiencing postmenopause, which luckily has led to more specific nutrition and diet recommendations. But before we get to that, I need to start by talking about what menopause is and some of the important nutrient needs for those in this life stage. So menopause is a time in a person's life when menstrual cycles stop. What this means is, during this time, the individual no longer produces eggs from the ovaries. So, monthly menstruation stops or put another way, monthly periods stop. Technically, doctors know that menopause has officially started after about a year without a monthly period. And they can always, of course, check hormone levels through blood tests to be sure. Now, because the ovaries are no longer producing eggs, hormone levels shift too. Specifically, there's a drop in the production of estrogen. Now, after menopause has happened, the years after that are called postmenopause. And because estrogen levels stay low post-menopause, there are some health risks that we need to be aware of. Researchers have found that those in this post-menopausal stage of life, bone mineral density and muscle decrease. At the same time, there's usually an increase in body fat. So there does seem to be an increase in the risk for certain diseases post-menopause, like obesity, cardiovascular disease, and osteoporosis. Luckily, There have been some review articles published recently looking at which foods, nutrients, and dietary patterns may be most helpful for keeping those experiencing postmenopause feeling their best. Now, I love looking at review articles because they look at the results from already published studies and try to summarize the information. So they're great for situations like these when we want to know which eating pattern may be best postmenopause. And here's what I was able to find. When it comes to protein intake, it looks like following the daily protein recommendations are perfectly fine. So unless you're an athlete or have an underlying disease like chronic kidney disease or liver disease, following the general daily protein requirements is perfect. That means for most postmenopausal individuals, consuming about one gram of protein per kilogram of body weight per day is a good starting point. Meeting this will help to preserve that muscle. Now, since body weight does tend to increase after menopause, it may be tempting to want to follow a fad diet to help keep the weight off. But researchers found that your typical fad diets like low-carbohydrate or high-fat diets may increase disease risk, so it's best not to use these. Instead, researchers have found that a Mediterranean-type diet is helpful after menopause. Now, before we get too excited that we can head over to Olive Garden and order the never-ending pasta bowl or have pizza every night, Let me describe what a Mediterranean-type diet should look like. We're talking about less animal fats, which are often sources of saturated fat. Saturated fat is one of the types of fat that can clog the arteries, and as a result, increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Instead, consume unsaturated vegetable fats and omega-3 fats. These would be extra virgin olive oil, vegetable oils, and oils from marine animals like salmon, mackerel, herring, halibut, and trout. When it comes to carbs, ideally aim to consume whole grains as often as possible. Protein sources can include nuts, seeds, B12, 
beans, and legumes, as well as eggs, chicken, turkey, and fish. But we should aim to consume less red meat overall. Red meat would include things like beef, so your hamburger and steak, game, lamb, and pork. And of course, bacon would fall under that as well. And lastly, consume at least five to nine combined servings of non-starchy vegetables and a variety of fruits each day. Now, this diet not only seems to protect the health of bones, help meet calcium, magnesium, and potassium needs and protein requirements, but has the added bonus of possible weight loss. Researchers found that those experiencing postmenopause were more likely to lose weight when they followed a Mediterranean-type diet. So if I had to rank which diet is best, it would probably be that one. Business owners know that hiring the right people can be a real challenge. Make it easier with Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses do it all. Attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. With Indeed's Instant Match feature, over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love that if you invite these or any candidates of your choosing to apply, they are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash health. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health and support the show by saying you heard about it on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Thank you again for taking the time to send in your question, Yuve. Answering your questions is my favorite part of the show. And if you want to send in a question, remember, you'll get a physical copy of our workbook mailed to you if you're in the US and as long as we still have some available. You can email your question to health at oldpodcast.com or if you want your voice played on the show, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. Once you go to that site, You can record straight from your computer's microphone. You can even play back your message and do retakes before sending it in. Or you can call in your question. The number is 1-61-I-LOVE-O-H-D. That's 1-614-568-3643. Thank you again so much for sending your questions in. And thank you so much for listening every day and all the way through. That'll do it for another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily. I hope you have a great start to your weekend. And of course, I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.